This is absolutely a Sunday morning I did not expect. But before we dive into the video, happy birthday to Gigi Bryant. It would have been her sweet 16 today. I uh, definitely wish all the best for the Bryant family. And also rest in peace to Peter Moore. If you guys are not aware of who that is, listen, iconic man who absolutely left his mark in the industry with his work on the Nike Dunk, uh, the Air Jordan 1, the Jordan Wings logo, but then also with Adidas. So we'll never forget those who impacted the culture and other us quite possibly on a personal level and yeah um how exactly do i say this got him i surround my soul with the positivity that's why i don't worry about the things that i don't see yeah these days i don't worry about much i think we should have some more fun i still dream about the days when we were young i'll take a hit and still What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video on Talks with TJ. It's Sunday. This is a video I didn't expect to make because I didn't think I would actually see a got em for the Kobe 6 Pro Tro Mamba Sita Sweet 16 on Sneakers App of all places. I'm one of the first to come out and always say that Sneakers App doesn't love me as of late. Now, that's not to say they haven't shown love in the past, okay? Yes, I've received exclusive access or early access to some pairs and I actually did a whole video running down some of the best cops that I've ever had on sneakers app but I just didn't think this would happen whatsoever so I made peace with, with the fact it would probably be an L and then you have to make that personal decision do you just sit with the L or do you go and pay resale and uh, matter of fact while we're on that let's touch on the reality of resale when it comes to this pair I think we have to remember resale is more of a moral decision discussion rather than an ethical discussion so quite often um we will mistake something being ethically wrong versus something being morally wrong so ethically if no one is breaking rules they're not uh going against any law that's in place then they're ethically within their right to do certain things it then comes down to morally should they do something right not can they do it should they do it and morals they're subjective just like me liking a sneaker it's subjective it's my thought my opinion it goes through my perception and the way that i see life versus you you may think something totally different whether it's uh the the look of a shoe the execution on a pair but then also when it comes to resale so for a lot of individuals on kobe's whether it's now or you know immediately when him and Gigi unfortunately passed people thought it immoral to resell sneakers especially at a very high amount uh you know for for any of the nike kobe pairs that he had and i 1000 percent respect that i think we that's the hard part for us we we morally would not do that but we have to remember there are people whose morals don't they're not the same as yours you also have people that are within a certain space and it doesn't just have to be sneakers it can be any number of things where there is a high known profit margin available they're looking to make that profit there's no emotion there tied to the 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 item that emotion comes back on us now i also think that you have to stand on if you don't want to be exploited uh, by your, you know, your emotions tied to something. That's where the hard part comes in. Do I pay resale knowing I would morally never resell this shoe? That's a decision you'll have to make. It's not a wrong decision. I don't think if you choose to want to pay resale for the shoe because you really want it. And I don't think it's a wrong decision if you say, hey, I will not pay resale for this shoe because morally it just doesn't sit right with, you know, with myself. I respect both sides of that. And yeah, these sneakers will be resold. Matter of fact, they're being resold for the high right now. Now, I will say be careful when it comes to that because, uh, the shoes were, to my knowledge, also being uh, pumped out <laughs> as fakes last year. So, you know, depending on where you're buying, hey, I just, there's always a risk no matter what, right? Depending on where you're buying your shoes. But yeah, these are going to be resold and they're already going for an extremely high amount.
So my morning, listen, it's a Sunday. We knew the actual uh, Mamacita Foundation website. They would have these sneakers for sale 10 o'clock, you know, a.m. Eastern, which is 7 a.m. Pacific time. And I said, okay, listen, normal Sunday, I'm gonna get up at around seven or so. I'm gonna go work out. And I was, I, I did my normal Sunday routine. Um, I knew that sneakers would provide exclusive access. We discussed that in the video yesterday. So I thought to myself, okay i'm probably not going to get it but of course you still go in the app you read up on everything that's present in the app for the shoe you like the actual post of that and then you go on so 10 o'clock i'm actually out walking my dog at this time so 10 o'clock I'm, I'm i'm thinking okay listen you might as well try just see if you possibly got access so go in the app and as soon as i open sneakers app the price populates of $180 and I'm thinking, okay, this is a joke. This has to be a joke. So the price populates. Okay. Once that populates though, no joke, it still said sold out. So the price was there, but it said sold out. And then all of the sizes popped up when I popped, when I clicked on the price and I'm thinking, this is not a drill. This is not a drill did you really get access and then sure enough a push notification comes in that says exclusive access granted you know hurry now limited time so uh based on the previous pickup i had for the kobe grinch which i went back for i know to size up a whole size so i went with a men's seven because they fit quite tight so clicked on a men's seven which is a women's eight and a half you know go to check out you you put everything in and it took a minute you know the little shifting shoe it's shifting it's shifting i'm thinking oh my goodness please just let me be able to check out and i actually had to do that i think twice so i had to try to submit payment twice and it goes through and i see the gotham screen and i'm just sitting here i'm not no joke like i'm just staring at my phone pause i'm not even walking the dog at this point just paused in awe staring at my phone at the gotham and you know, there are so many other Gotham's up and down the timeline. So there are actually a number of people, right? Everyday people that just wanted the shoe, that love the shoe, that, that may love the Lakers. They love Kobe. They wanted to support Gigi. Maybe they identify, right? They're, they're girl dads. And just, I saw a lot of W's and that's amazing. Now, here's the other part of this that is also true. This was a drop that wasn't gonna really make anyone happy outside of the few people that were maybe able to get their hands on the shoe. Um, it, it's always interesting when you see the, hey, must be nice to have gotten access or hey, must be nice to have checked out. What would you like people to respond to that? Because the people that were able to have access didn't control that. The people that were able to check out also don't have any control over that either. So I understand and I respect it's misplaced frustration because you really wanted the pair and you weren't able to get it. But you always have to be careful with that because if a fair majority of people decided to be honest and say, yes it is nice to get access yes it is nice to have checked out yes it is nice to have the opportunity to have this shoe that i really want and to have in the collection and to put on foot because i fully intend to put them on foot that's only going to probably make you more upset but that's opening the door for that if you say or comment hey must be nice like there's not what would you like people to say there's nothing that we could say. Uh, there's no way that this drop would have made the majority of people happy. That's just the reality of it. This is also why, quite honestly, I would never want to work on that side of the industry. I wouldn't because you're not you're not about to please people. You're just not. Um, I know people will say, well, hey, if this was all going towards the foundation to push forward and evolve the, the women's game of basketball for young girls uh, uh, playing no matter what age they're playing. Uh, shouldn't this have been a pre-order? In theory, I think a lot of us feel like it should have been a pre-order but we're not in a position to make that call i highly doubt vanessa had any say in how the number of pairs that were going to be produced like we have to remember there's so much red tape that goes on with nike or jordan brand or something that is of that magnitude you're actually probably more limited than you would think and the say that you have so I can't tell you, oh, well, yeah, that like they could absolutely go ahead and do a pre-order. There's a reason they don't do that. There's a reason, and you're probably not going to get anybody from the actual industry or the brand like Nike to tell you why they won't. I just highly doubt that. So for those of you who were able to hit, 
congratulations i know that you feel just as excited as i am i can't wait to get this sneaker and i thank you guys uh for those of you that commented hey i'm happy you got them because i know you fully intend to wear them i do they're going on foot i hope to wear these uh uh, I actually plan to wear them to a few WNBA games, you know, that I'm going to go see with friends this year. So I'm excited to get this pair. Um, not only listen to celebrate the legacy of Kobe, but also Gigi, knowing that the money is going towards the foundation as well. That's a plus as uh, a, a woman that played basketball growing up, understanding what that meant to me. It's those are memories you will never lose. You also build so much within yourself, right? Intangibles that continue to carry on in your life. And hopefully they help they help you in body like Mamba mentality. Continue to get after it. Continue to push don't settle for mediocrity and enjoy the pair if you were able to get the pair so thank you guys again so much for tuning into this video please if you were able to hit go ahead and comment down below oh the anxiety is there though like we're not really we're not really at peace until that pair arrives right and it's in our hands and it's in our collection safe and sound that's that's another truth right now so uh listen praying that these shoes arrive safely that they are in my possession soon and yeah i can't wait to just you know unbox them show you the video uh also i adore you guys but just know it's also a black and white shoe so i know people are saying like oh my goodness can't wait to see you style it it's also a black and white shoe so yeah like wear that shoe wear it basic dress it up dress it down do whatever you would like it's a black and white shoe it's definitely the uh emotional tie to the shoe what it represents i think that matters a little bit more but just know uh i'll definitely have that video for you guys so thank you again so much happy birthday once again to gg rest in peace to both gg and kobe and also peter moore as always act your age not your shoe size peace